Welcome to an overcast but surprisingly warm day here in uh, Cardiff. This is the Forest Farm Nature Reserve in the north of the city on uh, what used to be an old part of the canal system here. And um, it's one of my favourite places to come and photograph wildlife. The wildlife here is quite tame almost because it has so many people walking through it as it is quite a popular thoroughfare in the city. Anyway, let's go. Let's have a wander around and see what we see. does seem to be quite busy here today, so that might be a bit of a pain in the ass, but I do know a few places to go and hide and just watch for birds. So. Oh, what are you? Something squeaking. I always feel a little bit guilty when I get here and spend most of my time stood in front of the bush at the entrance, but uh, it's always full of small birds and uh, it's definitely a nice place to spend some time. But uh, it is a bit windy around here and I've deliberately tried to avoid having to put dead cats on the lapel mic because it's just getting annoying. They're basically too tame. <laughs> Some of them are probably quite young. But uh, I think I'm going to move on for a bit. And uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to sit and just take photos of things up close. But, uh, but I don't want to entice them into just sitting there all the time waiting for food. I don't tend to go into the first hide very much because uh, it's a very steep angle for photography, although you will see kingfishers there uh, and herons, um, woodpeckers, so it's a decent hide in terms of bird watching, but um, not necessarily for photography. Uh, the second one though is quite good, although it doesn't really exist anymore. I've annoyed a squirrel. Yes, so I don't tend to use the first hive very much. Uh, it's now made of a shipping container, so it can't be arson attacked like the second one um, was about a year ago. A year and a half ago, somehow like that. But the second one is notably better because it's much lower. And ironically, the arson attack has helped in that uh, there's now a much lower window to look out of the sheet metal that exists there. So I'm going to wander there now and uh, see if I can see anything. This is the grandiose replacement hide at the moment. In one aspect it's actually better as you can get down quite low and look out the window. There's actually a heron over there at the moment, although there is no water, unfortunately. This is a pond slash reed area, and uh, this one's actually quite good for photography, but I doubt I'll see any kingfishers today with it like this. And the heron looks a bit perplexed as well. You have to excuse any wobbly or weirdly uh, overexposed video. This is a new camera, so I'm entirely sick of uh, of filming on my phone and I forgot to get a uh, filter adapter so I could put a variable ND on it. Never mind. Uh, I'll hopefully get a bit more used to it and uh, rig the settings so it sort of works. It seems to be largely intact and I'm sure I can adjust it back afterwards. There's a very digging, very digging, a very enthusiastic Lee digging blackbird just next to me. It doesn't really care, they're normally very nervous around where I am.
testament to how ridiculously tame the birds are around here. Uh, where's it going? I mean, that is a robin, to be fair. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I love them. birds are in fact so tame here that I'm actually quite worried about stepping on them in certain places which is not something that makes me feel like I'm a cunning and uh, skillful wildlife photographer when they are just that ridiculously tame. They, they aren't captive here, this is a wildlife reserve, they're just uh, so very used to people. There are quite a lot of people here today actually and um, Counterintuitively, it doesn't really make it that much harder to photograph the birds because the birds get fed up waiting for their food and do go out anyway. This place can be quite challenging in the summer because it's quite uh, densely overgrown in many places. It's difficult in terms of camera settings and so I take a lot of photos at very slow shutter speeds and just hope that some of them come out. The action photos, like ducks flying, is usually less of a concern, uh, mostly because it's pretty much guaranteed that whenever a duck takes off I am facing the wrong way. But there are some lovely trees overhanging certain areas around here. There's a crow up on that one, they could be quite photogenic. There's always a, quite a lot of photographers down here and I got to chat to a guy for uh, five, ten minutes and uh, we were sat just looking at these very cute and quite young baby moorhens, uh, which I do love. They are a cute type of ugly, like tiny dinosaurs. Uh, I find the adults quite hard to photograph but uh, the babies are rather adorable and I've got a few photos I'm quite happy with. Um, in the past. I don't know what the ones from today will come out like. They may be up on the screen right now. I think that's me done for the day. I've got to be a bit quick if I want to uh, get back out of here before uh, rush hour kicks in and the road jams up a bit. Well, until next time.